Good morning, everybody. Uh, today I'm going down to La Jolla to do some snorkeling with a couple buddies. Hopefully, see some cool stuff like the Giribaldi, sea turtles. What else? Got some crab. Ooh, leopard sharks. Seen a couple of those down there. Um, so, it should be a good time. The weather outside right now is pretty perfect. Sunny, probably like 115 degrees. So hopefully it's a lot cooler down at the beach. Yeah, so snorkeling should be really fun. Um, hopefully get some good GoPro footage. I've been getting some good stuff already the past couple weeks. So it should be a really good time. So hope you guys have as much fun as we do. Have fun, Matt. Bye, Matt. Matt just left for the beach. He's off to snorkel with his friends. He told you all about it earlier, so I'm not going to go into it. But uh, you guys are stuck with me for the rest of the day or until, until Matt gets home. Uh, I really need a haircut today. This is like, this is crazy out of control. So got to get this trimmed up. Got to go to the store. Got to buy a few things. Also, really need to go to Target today because I need a few things from there. So you guys are going to come with me. First stop is the barbershop. We'll see you there. Back in the car, just leaving Target right now. Um, I went in there and I got some white strips, upside down, there you go. Some white strips, just the regular ones. Uh, I need, really need to whiten my teeth a little bit, so I just had to pick some up. The weird thing though is that, for some reason, Target has all of their white strips locked up in a box. Like, you can't just get them off the shelf anymore, so. That was really weird. I imagine they get stolen a lot, I guess, because I can't imagine you doing too much damage too much harm with white strips so um, although she just opens the box and gives them to you so like if you wanted to steal them you probably still could um, but don't steal stuff from Target that place is nice uh, anyways we are on to the grocery store I uh, just need to pick up a couple food items and then we will be back home and yeah I'll show you what I bought so uh, see you in a few all right so back home from the store I just got my groceries inside I uh, was watching the clips earlier from the barbershop and they have no audio on them. So I'm going to show you my haircut really quick because you guys haven't seen it yet. Ooh. Ooh. Looking real nice there. Shout out to Roger at the traditional barbershop. That's who cuts our hair. Uh, if you live in our area, married to Temecula, definitely check him out. He always has me lined up really nice when I leave there. I feel like a million bucks right now. I feel like I look good, if that's even possible, with this face. Also, just got a package delivered, so if it is what I think it is, I'm really excited to get it open, really excited to start using it. I'll show you guys what's in that box right there. Um, hopefully it is what I think it is. Uh, I got to get my groceries put away. I'll show you guys what I bought really quick. There it is. It wasn't too much. It was a really quick trip. I just needed some stuff that I cook like every day, like bacon and eggs and stuff. Um, I'm on a no-carb diet right now, so... I'm being really strict. I cook pretty much the same thing for myself every day. So um, I can't always stretch everything until I can make a big grocery trip. So just needed a few items. Got those there. Uh, I think we're going to move on to opening up that package. Let's see what's inside. Got the box. Um, I'm hoping it's the backpack that we ordered. We ordered a backpack to carry all, all of our uh, camera accessories and things around. So hoping it's that. I think it is. Let's see. Sweet. Oh yeah. So this is the RVCA camera backpack that we ordered. We've been waiting on for a little while. Um, it's honestly not as big as I thought it was going to be. It looks really cool though. 
Uh, we'll give you guys a little bit more of an in-depth. We'll do like a little inside the backpack thing a little bit later on. But for now, super excited that this came and ready to use it. On the right here, you can see we have the new RVCA camera backpack that we bought. On the left here is just Matt's OGO travel backpack that he has. I just kind of wanted to show you guys like the size of the backpack here. It's pretty much the same size as this one he already has. So uh, I was really impressed with that, that it wasn't too big. It's not too heavy either. So a little bit closer into the backpack now. So this first pocket we're opening here is going to be the actual uh, camera portion of the backpack. So underneath here, is the camera pouch the camera pouch this is where you put all your uh like hardware items the actual camera the microphone uh not going to be able to get the tripod in there but just a nice safe pocket it's waterproof on this side so that's really nice you got just pockets here 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 there's like seven eight different pockets on here just to hold your accessories and things um over on the side here is where we're going to do the tripod so that's going to go in there on the side um, but yeah and then the top it's a huge like throw it all in pocket just for anything else you need um, probably put a laptop in there as well so we can edit on the road so that will be really nice um, we really wanted to get something that holds the camera and the laptop so we can just take everything in one go uh, we were going to planning on just carrying around two backpacks, one with camera equipment, one with editing equipment, but that just was not practical in the end. When we get everything in there, I guess we'll probably show it to you when we start carrying it around. But yeah, other than that, really happy with this, um, ready to start using it. All right, I'm off to the gym really quick before it closes. Matt just got home, so he's going to talk to you guys a little bit about his day. We should get this edited and up tomorrow. But yeah, for now, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Here is Matt. What is up guys? Finally back from the beach. Uh, had a good time snorkeling today, saw a lot of neat stuff. Uh, we saw leopard sharks, stingrays, a couple lobster, a bunch of California state fish, which is a Garibaldi, like super bright orange fish, really neat to see. A uh, bunch of other fish, that I have no clue what they were. But overall, it was a really good day. Uh, Try to get a lot of video underwater, so hopefully all those turned out really well. I haven't looked at them yet, so we'll see. I um, also got a cool video, I think, of a sea lion swimming underwater really close to us, so I hope that one turned out. Um, other than that, it was a pretty nice day. Really overcast all day, which kept it pretty cool. The water was still pretty warm. It was like 75 degrees water temp, which was perfect for snorkeling. Yeah, just pretty tired right now. We swam probably like two miles, I bet, at least. No, probably even more than that. We are in the water for like two to three hours. So I'm pretty tired right now, especially after working 24 hours last night and yesterday. So I'm ready for bed, but I thought I would just check in with you guys first before I head off. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, after after snorkeling we went over to Pacific Beach to have dinner at this place called Fat Sal's and this place just serves the most ridiculous sandwiches I've ever had before um, I got the the signature the Fat Sal which had like roast beef onion rings french fries mozzarella sticks gravy and instead of just normal bread, it was on a huge piece of garlic bread, and it was absolutely delicious. But so filling, I felt like I was going to throw up afterwards, but totally worth it. And then, other than that, that's pretty much it. Just came home, got here, saw Mike for about a minute, and he's off to the gym. He's doing really good with that lately. I need to go join him, but I'm just so tired right now. The thought of going to the gym is just like, no way. <laughs> we got the backpack today also. So hopefully we're able to do like a little review of that since we're gonna be using that all the time, taking that with us. 
and therefore taking you guys with us. And that's about it for today. I hope you guys had as good of a day as I did, and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow.